Welcome if you kiss. We are going to be looking at what it is that you need guidance with right now using the Starseed Oracle, also Animal Tarot and Divine Directions. Okay, so let's start with the Starseed Star Oracle. We're going to get one card and at the end we're going to read it from the book. Okay, and we're going to have a little bit of a inquiry into what is going on for you. One card for a few kiss, please. One card. <laughs> just one. So all we're asking for is just one. Star Ancestors. Hidden secrets, lost wisdom, look a little deeper. Interesting. A bucus, interesting. Look at the keyhole here. Oh no, it's not a keyhole. It's a doorway. Looks like a portal of some sort. Look like a keyhole again. Wow. This looks intriguing. Okay. Okay, so three cards. For Star Ancestors, is this who is supporting you right now? Are these your guides? Are you connected to the Egyptian temples? So many questions. Okay, so let's have a look. Oh, ah, energy. This is your first card. Then we have trust. Then we have soulmates. This is an exciting reading. Okay, energy. Try to keep positive energy by surrounding yourself with positive people. Yeah, see, this is about you being aware of your energy, so it's matching, right, these star ancestors, so that they can come through. Because if the vibration is too low, they're not going to be able to make connection with you. So even when you're not trying to sit in meditation or trying to sit with them, um, to work with them, still keep your energy vibing high as much as you possibly can and yes whoever is around you is going to help to do that so be very mindful of who you have around you okay so energy tell me more about this tell me more about this for a few kiss please stay on the table stay on the table Cards for energy for a few kiss. No, no more cards. Okay, so let's have a look here at a few kiss. Oh, yeah, look, coming out of your shell, right? So maybe some of you have been keeping this connection, maybe, to yourselves. I feel as though. Some of you may have been working like energetically. Um, it could even be with the soulmates card coming up. There could be someone that you're seeing privately. You don't want anyone else to know. Or you're just keeping it to yourself so it's more sacred. And no one has their input and their little, you know, whatever it is that they bring to the table. That's kind of like doesn't, doesn't uplift the situation. Um, yeah, I feel like there's sort of like in, in, in the background, just quietly, you're there growing, feeding yourself lots of healthy stuff in the sense of, and that could be food, but it could be energetically, you know, it could be that you're meditating and stuff like that. It's almost like this is about you coming out with that and going you know what this is actually who I am and and really owning that yeah and there's this here this ace of spring this is a brand new beginning a new beginning in something very passionate it could very well be this relationship right but there's a wonderful I'm going to read this a wonderful new opportunity presents itself it may have come as a surprise but you'll still want to leap into action and passionately pursue 
every possibility and this could very well be energetically this could be about the star ancestors and what it is that you're finding out about them there could be connections that have come through for you from the ancient ancestors right that you're starting to discover and you're so excited about it you want to tell everybody there may be some people around you who think you're absolutely bonkers but that's their thing you know what's true for you right because if it resonates it's true for you regardless of what anyone else thinks or says always remember that okay because there's a knowing inside of you that you 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 can't even put doubt to so don't try to and don't try to don't allow people to do that to you okay own what it is that you know with confidence and surety okay so there's this gazelle popping up here when it first jumped out it kind of made me giggle a little bit because it's like that it's like jumping up from this um you know from being in the shell right and not um not coming forth it's not just that you're slowly coming out now it's like you're jumping up and I'm going Ta -da, here I am and um and and you're racing ahead you know, so keep that momentum going. Keep that up. Don't let people pull you down. Okay, if there's lions chasing you, run faster. Yeah, because this is about you. And this is where this energy is saying to you, don't let people bring that down. Don't let people hold you back from this. Okay, because this is important for you to move forward and for you to ascend and evolve as a soul. On this earth as a star seed here who has come to do what you have come to do honor that honor that and honor that knowing within you that that's what you're here to do okay trust trust in your intuition in what you are feeling sensing seeing or experiencing perfect 100 percent Lucas do it you know just just no doubt whatsoever because you know when you have that inside of you you know what that feels like. And then someone comes along and says, but what about this? Oh, that doesn't make sense. Oh, you're one of those, are you? You know, whatever it is people are trying to say to bring you down. Who are they? They've got their own journey, right? They have their own journey. And um, do they just need to worry about that. They don't need to worry about yours. Okay, so tell me more about trust for a few kiss, please. I don't know why I'm putting that back. Um, any more cards for trust for a few kiss? One more shuffle. No. Okay. So here we go. What are these two cards here? Three of winter. Ah, uh, look at this. You see, this could very well be about a relationship, but I feel like it's more than just your standard relationship. I feel like this is uh this is more on a soul level of some sort. Only you'll know what that is, right? But the three of winter here, this is about this um, comfort and needing compassion from others, needing compassion from yourself for what you have been through, for, for what you have come through. Yes, you might be springing to life now and ready to go ahead, okay? But it's also knowing that that's after coming out of something really difficult and potentially for some of you coming out of this darkness. You know what it's like when you've been in the dark for so long, right? And then the light gets turned on and your eyes take a bit to adjust. It's the same as when we come out of a dark space emotionally or mentally or whatever. We need to adjust. We need to learn another way. We need to let things... Um, settle before we move forward and it's the same here this is no different okay we have the ace of summer which is a new beginning and in a relationship with a loving relationship this could even be a friendship but more than likely it's a romantic relationship so this is about you trusting okay trusting in yourself to make these decisions trusting that um what you're pouring into your cup is what it is that you will get back, except nothing less. Because you have to know that you're worth 
the very best, okay? Trust yourself to find the very best for yourself. And that will always be dependent on what it is that you're pouring into your cup. Okay? And when you do, you will move forward. When you allow this to happen, you will move forward. Okay? And you will be on a journey headed for the place that you've always dreamed of. I absolutely adore this for you. Okay? Um... I, I do wonder if for some of you there's a relationship that may have been from a past life that has now come to transform into something that's going to help you both evolve. Okay, this could be a friendship, like I say. Um, it could even be someone in your family, maybe. I'm not feeling that as strong, so that might just be for one of you. Um, yeah, the Queen of Spring. Look at this. Here she sits on her throne. She sits there. She owns that throne. She doesn't need to wear her crown. She doesn't need to prove anything to anyone about who she is because she knows. Right? It's the same with you. You don't need to prove anything to anyone. No. Sit in the knowing of who you truly are. And own that. Okay? Soulmates. Soulmates are important people who teach you life lessons. They can be friends, lovers, and family members. Okay, so tell me more about soulmates. Okay, jumping out already. Tell me more about soulmates for a fucus, please. You know, and these can even be lessons that aren't so great. And we don't want to see people who have really hurt us as soulmates per se but they are there to teach us, you know? And it's important for us to learn those lessons. Okay, so we have these cards here. Okay, sweet. Let me just pick these ones up off the... Okay, so a few kisses as far as soulmates goes, right? Soulmates. Um, we've got balance here, okay? And, and when you look at the zebra, like there's all the its stripes and everything else, and I've heard that there is no two zebras the same. It's like it's like our fingerprints, right? Every zebra is different with their stripes, but every zebra has this perfect balance in the black and white stripes, right? It's it's sort of like the yin yang symbol, yeah. And I feel like for you, this is about um you getting this balance in your life, okay? Because there's going to be tough times, there's going to be absolutely wonderful times, and both are necessary. Both are necessary. And, and, and I think it's a fact that the majority of people, they want just the good and not the bad. But the bad has to be experienced as well. Because that's where the balance comes in. Otherwise it's lopsided, right? So this here is about celebrating all the successes that you have had in getting through the hard times, in getting through the bad times, in getting through the dark times. The good times are there to celebrate. That's your celebration. Yeah? So celebrate those, okay? Now we have the emperor here. And, you know, this is the thing, right? I feel like that in talking about soulmates, this is about these hard relationships and these relationships that are absolutely wonderful and bring you nothing but joy. And then there's the other relationships that bring you pain, right? The thing is that in order for us to get through all this, we have to learn to become the emperor of our own empire, to gather it up, to gather up what it is that we need in order to survive the hard times, right? To get our little tool bag to keep continuing on. And that is the whole point of it. Okay, we have the six of autumn here. Yeah, see, this I feel like is about you saving, maybe saving money, okay? But saving um, 
saving your energy potentially for the for the things that are worth spending it on. What are you spending your energy on, right? Um, but also, this is about you paying off any debts that you don't need, organising your life, getting everything into balance so that you're not outweighed, you know, so that your income is um, not... Sorry, your outgoings are not exceeding your income. That kind of thing, okay? And we also have the seven of spring here. And um, I feel as though with this one here, there's something about you, Fugus. There's something about you that you feel like you're just like everyone else. There's nothing special about you. You're just there. But what you don't understand is there's something about you that stands out. And other people around you, they see it and they don't really know what it is either. But it's there. And no matter how much you may think you blend in or try to blend in and try to hide yourself, you in fact cannot. So I feel like it's time for you to own your power. Own who you are. Own the fact that you are this emperor of your empire. You are the queen of spring. Yeah? Own it. Okay. So, star ancestors. Here we go. Hidden secrets, lost wisdom. Look a little deeper. The ancients knew much more than we do about our connection with the stars. The pyramids, temples and other places of worship created in precise alignment with the stars exist in all corners of the world. What if this ancient wisdom is available for you to uncover now? You are being called to think and listen with your ancient heart and soul. To tap into the part of you that remembers and knows. All ancient secrets are whispered forever in your ears, all mystic knowing blooms in your heart, all potent power pumps through your veins. You are being invited to step into your ancient knowingness to be held by the rememberings of your star ancestors. To look a little deeper, if you're feeling stuck, you're being called to do something different to change your point of view. Creativity happens when we put together two things that don't belong, when we do the unexpected. So often, a creative solution is right in front of us. But because we think the same thoughts and act the same way, we miss what's in the open, right? Yeah, see? We miss what's in the open. Love it. You're here to remember and uncover ancient secrets and transmissions. Technology and wisdom that are so needed on the planet right now to unlock your soul's memories of a time when we lived in harmony on earth and one day will again. Okay, you're, this is an activation for you. This is cool. So we haven't had an activation yet. So you're the only one who gets an activation at the minute. Okay, so, 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 place the card on the portal of your heart and whisper the, the following. Well, just put your hand on, your left hand on your heart, okay, in replacement of the card. Okay, and whisper the following. I'm not going to whisper it so you can hear it, but you can whisper it. I'm ready to remember ancient mysteries and secrets from deep within. Let's do it again. I'm ready to remember ancient mysteries and secrets from deep within. One more time. I'm ready to remember ancient mysteries and secrets from deep within. Yeah. A few kids. That's exciting. How exciting. Okay. Right. Go, go work with those. Okay. Um, and do this, like, do this every day so that you can be open to receiving these ancient mysteries and secrets from within. Okay, that's super exciting. Okay, 
I'm excited for you. Okay, Afikas, I'm really going now. Okay, take care of your beautiful self. See you. Bye-bye.